What's up, everybody, and welcome to episode 81 of the On The Runs podcast. We are virtual tonight, back in our home bedroom studios, unlike last week when we were together in person outside with some amazing people. But Erica, what's going on? How are you? I'm doing just fine, my man. I'm still reeling over how much fun we had last weekend. That was an absolute blast. It was a blast. I'll tell you, I don't. So I was just talking to some other people, other podcasters, but I don't really Mm -hmm. listen to our podcast because I hear it twice while editing. Well, when one podcast on Spotify ended the other day, it automatically played ours. And I was like, Mm -hmm. that was a ton of fun. That was so much fun. And honestly, how good did it come out? It came out fantastic. I, we, I know it was a little iffy. We're like, are you going to hear all the background noise? Like, what's going to happen? But I think it was pretty good. Right. We should I do was it more blo- often. I was blown away how well it happened. And I said it's mm-hmm. our first time live in a parking lot. Not really true. Episode 12 was, but we we're in our- <laughs> well, I was my in truck. your car, yeah. And we, so. <laughs> we like drove somewhere quiet because they had the landscaping crew out oh, there. Oh, I so. remember that. But that was so good much times. fun. Yeah. So, hey, do you have heat? I do have heat. Yes. Yes. That's what uh, we were supposed to do some recording last night. But I said, hey, it's really, really cold in my house. We're going to cave. And we had to figure out how to get the heat working again. So it took us most of the night. But our house is nice and toasty, nice and comfortable. No frozen pipes for us. How about you? What? Well, okay. So I had the same problem as you. We turned mm-hmm. it on, you know, after it's November, you can now turn on your heater mm-hmm. and it didn't kick on. And I'm getting text messages from Ashley. Like the heat's not kicking on. And I'm like, oh God, this is going to suck. Like I'm going to have to spend <laughs> right. so much money on a service call. And I spent hours at the university of YouTube and at 1137 last night, I got the heat to kick on. <laughs> and I was like, insert Boston Bruins goal song, excited, like, yes, I'm like doing a happy dance. What? Like, I, what is it that you texted me? You're like, I'm a fucking hero. Or I'm something. a fucking hero. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I was well. so excited. I was so excited. You you have no clue, Erica. Like, I'm taking this whole furnace apart and I'm Googling things. I'm texting one buddy of mine who works in like commercial furnishes and mm-hmm. and uh, and eventually he's sleeping because I know he's sleeping because he's not responding. And mm-hmm. I found out like there was this uh sensor, it said like some pressure switch was open, and I'm oh. Googling what to do with that. And so there's this like switch with a hose that goes to the blower motor. So I take the hose off and I you gotta clean the hose and and they say, if you suck on the hose and you hear a click, okay, that thing's working. So I, I, I give it a little suck and I then, uh, pin, I like, uh, you know what, with the water hose, how you like, will um, squeeze it. So the water doesn't come out anymore. You do that yep. to keep the air in and I'm pushing down this button. And then all of a sudden it lit flame. I'm oh, like, oh, nice. Yes. So now I know, okay, it's not my gas. It's not this. It's not that it has to do something with the blow motor. And the fix hmm. was a paper clip. And I extended the paper clip about two inches and stuck it in this valve and like just went, did a little right there a bunch of times. Something cleaned out all lucky. the dirt in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 The valve got lucky. And yeah. um, next thing you know, it's on. It's firing. And I'm like, we got heat, baby. <laughs> nice. Yeah. We had to relight our pilot light and um. I think we replaced the filter and did a little bit of maintenance on our own, but it, it didn't take nearly that long. We had ours oh. up and running by, I think it was like nine fifteen, was, nine thirty. I was so worried because mm. like I'm traveling next week when this drops mm-hmm. guys, I'm in Utah and hopefully I just spent an epic day in Moab at Arches national park. That's fingers so. crossed. Yeah. Uh, the way my travel's working out, I might get to do that. And so I was so nervous about like, okay, I need to get heat. This is going to cost me. I'm like, First thing I thought was a uh, gas valve. I'm like, mm. that's an $800 fix. Oh, I'm like, I can't, and you, you can't do that on your own. You can't, you don't want to mess with gas and have your whole house blow up. No kidding. <laughs> I know. So luckily but, it wasn't that. I'm glad it we was, have heat, uh, baby. <laughs> it was an easier fix than that. Good, yes. good, good. Yes. How you feeling? Hot, hot, hot. I am. <laughs> I'm so I'm on a high right now. If you can't tell, like I just. So uh, yeah, because you... you casually dropped it. You just had like a, a talk with some other podcasters. So are you going to get into that? Or are we going to wait? I, I was asked to be a guest on the podcast. And 
full disclaimer, my first message was, yes, absolutely. But if you want Erica, she, it, it, that's totally cool. She's much cooler than me, much more entertaining. Dude, you and... deserve it just as much as I would. So you are you are equally as awesome. I got so to let, go tell on... me about it. Yeah. Get All right. Into so it. our friends who you met at the Loopy Looper, uh, Loopy Looper, Aaron mm -hmm. and Mike, Tom and Diane, uh, they right. have the they have the Will Run for podcast. They, they're kind of at the in the uh, Philadelphia, Maryland area. I learned that because. I was like, you guys aren't really close. You're kind of far. And I don't understand how far Philly is from like Baltimore. I don't know. It's, it's a, I guess it's less than a two hour drive, but. Okay. Um, so I got to go on theirs. They have a series called Inside the Runner Studio. And I was one of their Inside the Runner Studio guests. And I don't know when it will drop. I know they did a bunch of them today and I was the last one. And I do know from listening to their podcast, they like to do it in order. So okay. like if, if you went before me you would drop before me and it's okay typically because tom likes to, uh tom will drink sometimes and it's fun to listen to tom get drunker <laughs> in every episode <laughs> i and knew I was, they were my kind of people <laughs> i was so disappointed i didn't get a buzz tom oh bummer, I was dude. like wait i don't have buzz tom so your dream we did talk about this i said we've talked about how are we going to involve them with our podcast and mm -hmm. i'm like do we do all four do we have one at a time do we do couples we'll 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 keep talking but i said your dream is to do a drunken podcast and that that, that would be the perfect one they're game for that i'm so happy they're, oh, they're totally that's game gonna be a that. blast and i mean just a little bit of alcohol like loosens you up stuff starts flowing the fun conversations come out like you know you get where I'm going with this. It, it yeah. can be a lot of fun. They live in the Philadelphia area, or at least uh, Mike and Aaron do. Mm -hmm. like, that's a quick flight from Manchester. Oh, yes. Yes, it like, is. That's, that's a day trip. Like, I'd fly back drunk on the plane. No, you just, you know, I actually, <laughs> it actually might have offered your spare bedroom for them. I don't know if all four of them could <laughs> You fit are in there. very, very liberal with the uh, spare bedroom <laughs> offering. Not that so the... I wouldn't do it myself, but... <laughs> They're applying I love that for, you feel so comfortable yeah, about that. They're applying for Mount Washington just like I am. No way. Yeah, yeah. So what, June? It's open it's, whenever they it want Father's, it. It's Father's Day weekend, right? Uh, I don't know, honestly. Uh, but hey, as far as I know, nobody's using it. So yeah, it's got their names yeah. on it. They're trying to they're trying to get in, so we could do that. Cool. Anyways, anyways. How was uh how was your Halloween uh Halloween Drooge, no. Uh, what is it called? <laughs> Halloween? No, I've been no Grinch. Scrooge. I'm the Grinch. <laughs> well, Scrooge, so, yeah, same thing. So, so, so Halloween Scrooge. How was your Halloween night with uh, uh Hib did he go to like a hibachi place? We did go to hibachi, and you know what? We had pretty much the place to ourselves. It was awesome. We had like a <laughs> private hibachi show. Like it was a blast. I haven't, I haven't done that in a long time. I think I've only gotten hibachi like the full show, maybe like once or twice. And it, I don't know. It's just fun to sit there and they like, put on the little show with the ch -ch -ch -ch, like yeah. the knives and the yeah. <laughs> everything flying and There's... sake bombs and oh, it was a great time. There's this hibachi chef who does some trick where he has you throw something at him and he tries mm -hmm. to cut it in midair, but he purposely misses and gets his arm and it looks like the knife goes through his arm, like in all this blood. It's obviously fake, but oh, I saw shit. that video. Yeah. <laughs> I think the story, <laughs> I think the story behind it is they have a guy go in there who it doesn't actually have an arm and he has a prosthetic or, or something oh, like that. It's a fake oh my arm. God. And he does that. So thank no, God that cool. didn't happen. That would have been a perfect Halloween trick, though, if if I do say so myself. But uh -huh. I mean, eh, they they did the the like bottle of sake, like trying to get it in your mouth, and <laughs> yeah, the yeah. the uh, zucchini trying to chuck that in your face, and yeah, it took me like four tries. <laughs> he just kept throwing <laughs> it at me. I'm like, but it was it was a blast. Me and Brandon. I'm had a good glad time. you had a good night then, because I had a blast, and I was like, you do know, tell. You yeah. Well, no, it's just we go to my parents' house and um, they live on a circle of like 20 houses and it doesn't get super mm -hmm. crowded. Uh, I mean, it gets crowded, but not like insane. And it's a, just because you don't have to worry about cars or much at all. And you just walk mm -hmm. around the circle. It's a half a mile. My watch says we did a mile, actually, with all the driveways. Mm -hmm. Like there's some okay. long driveways. The kids had a blast and I posted a really fun reel about it. Like they just had they had a freaking ball, and my mom made one comment that said they loved the decorations more than the candy. 
Oh, that really? <laughs> might not last for long, but it is true. It was the boys are so freaking fun. And my daughter wanted to be Barbie and everything. And then she mm -hmm. realized like Halloween weekend that she changed her mind after being Barbie once. She's like, I want to be something scary and bloody and gory. And I'm like, yes, yes, you do. <laughs> That's right. Very nice. So she, she was like some uh, wedding, like some br like a bride zombie or whatever, you know? Oh, OK. Yeah. So, I'll give her credit yeah. for that. It's fun to for, fun to dress up like that, to be yeah. something outside of the norm, you know? Yeah, 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 absolutely. She was for all all year long. She was going to be Wednesday and uh, Wednesday Adams. And then all of a sudden I it was like Barbie. Everybody was Wednesday or either yeah. Wednesday or Barbie. Those were the two popular right. ones. Right. So I'm glad she went scary, you know, zombie like, you know, bride. So definitely good stuff. Yeah. Well, this was wow! What what an entertaining! I'm still on a high. What an what a what an intro! 